Welcome back, everybody. Now, this is my five-star unawakened rank four level 55 Cosmic Ghost Rider. And I only have one rank five five-star right now, but I'm about to have two. Um, and, yeah, we've gotten all the catalysts to get this guy to rank five. So, uh, there we go. I clicked that rank up button, and um, this part's all really sped up. Um, but the reason I love this guy so much is because his damage output is absolutely crazy. Um, and, um, yeah, if you can use him right, he's, like, he's definitely top tier worthy. No one is ever going to question that. Um, and even after his nerf, the nerf didn't exactly do extreme amounts, but, um, he's still a phenomenal champion. Um, and the greatest thing about this guy is he's completely unsynergy reliance um or he's not synergy reliant at all and um he also does not need to be awakened um so yeah i'm basically done finishing this guy at this point um and yeah here's where i click the button and this guy is officially maxed out um so, to so today what we're going to be doing is we are going to hop into realm of legends first um and and then we're going to head into um some Act 6 Cavalier stuff. Um, and we are going to get go uh, up against a bit of a challenge. Uh, but 6.1.1 with the No Retreat Global Node. Um, now the reason I wanted to try this Global Node was because um, um, this kind of fits to Cosmic Ghost Rider's playstyle a little bit. Because at certain times you can't, it, uh, you sh you can't dex um, if you want to play him uh, like the best way. Um... However, I will explain when you can and can't um, a little bit later on. Alright, um, but if you saw at the beginning of the fight, um, I started off by doing a, um, a medium, or a medium light, 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 light combo. So I did combo ending with the light, and that gave me a huge power gain buff. And, um, you always want to do that first, especially if you have the Ghost Rider synergy, because it's, like, the most important buff that you can get from him. Um... And, uh, with the, uh, Ghost Rider Synergy, um, you have, um, the first buff that you get is, I believe, doubled, or maybe it's just enhanced, but, um, when you can, and then, um, the second combo, you want to use a medium, light, 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 medium combo, so it's just a normal combo, and then, um, and then, um, if you can see, um, where his debuffs are, uh, you can see he has three judgments, or, like, if you're familiar with, um, Ghost Rider, they're just called ju Judgments. Cosmic Ghost Rider, they're called Cosmic Judgments. Um, but yeah, the way you get them is, um, ending a combo with a light, ending a combo with a medium, using a special attack, um, using, um, a heavy attack, and, um, getting a precision buff, or dexing something. Now, um, all my, um... Now, all my Cosmic Judgments were converted to Armor Breaks, so now I have to restart all the way from the beginning. But that is the ginormous SP2 if you can have the double rotation. And the reason you want to go SP3s, in order to, that's the reason in order to have the double rotation. Um, and, um, yeah, because um, those give you Fury buffs. Um, that can really enhance your damage. And the number one thing with Cosmic Ghost Rider, the number one thing that makes his SP2 as big as it is, is his precision. And that means you can't have precision, uh, you can't have activated a precision, um, the la uh, since the last time you used a special attack, if that makes sense. Um, so like, if I use a special attack and I'm about to go for the SP2, then I cannot use the precision. Um, but yeah, that's basically how you, um, handle longer fights. Um, most fights, you won't even have to do all this. And that's why we're gonna go into Act 6, where they have, um, a two, probably like, the bot. well, the bosses have like 300,000 health pools, but we're not gonna take on the boss. Um, and the normal people have about like, um... 150,000. Uh, so as you could see, I start I started with um, ending in a light, and then I ended in a medium. Now I'm just going to keep ending in mediums for now. Um, and then there I accidentally really slipped up. Um, and then here you use a heavy right before you use the SP3 to get the aptitude buff. Um, so you can probably, um, you want to have it 
for the um for the SP2 since it's even more damage. Um but yeah, as you as you are about to see, we are going to have a fury buff. Um but yeah, I have the fury buff right there. I have aptitude and a cruelty. If I go for the SP2 right now, then I will get a precision buff from it. Um uh but like I just dex there, so I won't be able to have the precision if I go for the SP2 right now. Um but yeah, there I really slip up. I get stunned. Um but yeah, I throw the SP3 right after that. Um, but yeah, the gr another amazing part about this guy is he has absolutely crazy block proficiency. Now, Dr. Doom is probably, like, the person who people most refer to for block proficiency. Um, the number one person I've found is probably Captain America Infinity War, uh, with 75%, and Dr. Doom has 70%, but most people refer to Dr. Doom for some reason, um... And you see right there, I accidentally decked, so now I have to do the SP3 all over again, um, if I want to get the precision. Um, but yeah, most people refer to Dr. Doom, and his is 70%. Cosmic Ghost Rider is 72%, so like, if you're gonna, um, if you're gonna take 100 damage from a hit, instead you're only gonna take about 28 damage. Um... But yeah, there I accidentally dex yet again, so here I'm going to have to go for another SP3. I mean, I could go for the SP2, but I wouldn't have the precision, um, which would be a bit of a problem. Uh, but yeah, here I go for the SP2 just to try to get as much damage off as possible. Um, I saw I had the precision buff, even though I did just dex, so I was a little bit confused about that, now that I'm rewatching it. But now it's time to go into Act 6. Point one point one, um, and go up against the no retreat node. Um, and the thing with no retreat is you you can dash back, um, but you can't dash back like twice in like what is it like three seconds or something. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, or else you get a degen. And this node is very annoying. Probably this might be one of the um, the last two quests are probably the worst. Um, for becoming Cavalier, um, then probably point two, then probably point one, so, but this note is still very challenging, actually, no, this is harder than point two, um, but, yeah, um, so he, as you can see here, um, I start off by using a ending with a light so I can get the power gain, um, and here, um, I'm gonna go for the SP3, um, I just have to be very careful with this guy because of tenacity, um, so I'm never sure, so I'm never sure, um, when he's gonna actually be stunned and when he's not going to be. Um, so here I'm trying to get a special out of him. Um, but it's incredibly annoying because I don't want to get degened. Um. Yeah, and here, um, I was able to get it out of him. And right before he hit me, I threw off the SP3. Um, so now we're going to have the Fury buff. And most of the time for these fights, uh, you won't even need the Fury buff. Um, I just wanted to be a little bit careful um, in this fight. Um, but yeah, in the, all the future fights, you are going to see um, him have or um, me just go straight for the SP2. Um, but yeah, you can't dex like, any time if you're going to go for the SP2 right away um, until you've thrown the SP2. Uh, but yeah, here I go for it, and I'm pretty sure this kills. I can't exactly remember. No, that did not do as much damage as I had hoped. Um, but yeah, the reason you want Cosmic Judgment is it gives you buffs, and it eventually all turns to armor breaks. But yeah, I throw off the SP1 to finish off the fight, and yeah. Alright, but the next fight is a Red Skull, and he's got some really annoying nodes on him that makes him like... Um, impossible to parry or something. I can't remember. Um, I, I, I don't think it's parry. Um, truth be told, I can't really remember. But, um, I skipped over the fight. Um, I did use CGR. Um, but yeah, so we are gonna have to use some health potions in him. Uh, but yeah, he completely wiped out my CGR, especially since I accidentally hit into the block a, a couple times. Um, but yeah, this fight has enhanced SP1. Thankfully, you only need to do, like, one dash back to dex the whole thing. It's only one blast of Iron Patriot. Um, so yeah, that is always nice. So, I don't think the enhanced SP1 will do, um, will be that annoying. Um, and yeah, it wasn't, but I started off with the ending with the light. 
And then um, here I'm going to end with a medium. And then go straight for the SP2 since we got the precision. Um, and yeah, he's already 50% down. Um, and yeah, now I'm having some absolutely nuts damage. Um, I get away from the SP1 yet again. And we just lost all the buffs. But that's okay, he's basically down. And that is a 6.1.1 takedown in 30 hits. Um, which is absolutely crazy. This guy is probably going to be my number one act six person. Uh, then probably Dr. Doom. Uh, but yeah, this guy can just clear content so quickly. Um, it's just so absolutely crazy. Um, but yeah, um, here I keep forgetting to um, get some other Cosmic Judgments. And Cosmic Judgments is always good to have because they convert to armor breaks. But you don't always want it. Uh, but yeah, here I go for the SP2. I get the Cruelty and the Precision. And yeah, he's already 49% down. Just like, uh, what's his face? Was 50% down last time. Um, and yeah, this one I couldn't really salvage the, um, the Cruelty or anything. But um, it it didn't it doesn't last an extreme amount of time, but it always really helps. And yeah, that I was basically still able to get him down like thirty percent in five hits. And this guy has about one hundred fifty thousand health on him, which is absolutely crazy that Cosmic Ghost Rider can take him down this quickly. Um, now I'm ever like I've always been so tempted to put this guy over uh, Corvus on the tier list. Um, however. Um, Corvus just has some other utility, like all of his immunities and everything, that just makes him a little bit better than um, this guy. Um, and there I accidentally failed in No Retreat because of the heavy attack. And that's probably the number one thing about No Retreat is heavy attacks. And there are some unblockable special attacks, but if you take the right path, then there's not. Alright, but I needed to be really careful right here about the SP2. Um, because she was like right there if I took a hit, or she took a hit. Um, then she'd be at the SP3, and I could not salvage the, um, the, um, SP, I could not salvage the precision or anything, um, but yeah, I dexed that, I only mess up on Dover Retreat once, there I accidentally get intercepted, I accidentally slip up, um, but yeah, here I go for the SP2, I'm just trying to get her down as fast as possible, um, but yeah, most of the time you won't have to go for the SP3, but, um, it depends how long your fight is and how long, or and how much your CGR is upgraded. Um, but yeah, CGR is my favorite champion in the whole game now. Uh, it used to be Sunspot, then it was Doctor Doom, now it is CGR. Um, man, it's just because this man's damage output is absolutely crazy, and it's basically not okay. They should, and like, he technically got nerfed. Um, but his nerf really did not do that much, um, for stopping him or anything. Alright, but I throw a couple health potions into him. Um, and this guy I might take into Labyrinth and Abyss. I might. Um, I'm not sure about Abyss. I'm still ways away from that. Um, but yeah, I go for the SP2 right here. And, um, yeah, he's already down at 77%. Um, so yeah, now I just keep hammering in. I'm just critting at every single hit. Um, and it's just absolutely crazy. I saw Kingslayer MCOC do a rank 5 Warlock uh, damage comparison with a max rank 3-star three, three um, CGR. And uh, the Warlock only won by like 16 seconds. But do tell me your thoughts on Chasm Ghost Rider. I do not regret taking this guy up at all. I absolutely love this guy. But if you would like to see more from me, I post every day at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure to go over and follow the Instagram. It tells you a lot about my MCOC account and my channel. Um, make sure to um, make sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video, uh, and make sure to comment new videos you do want to see. I'm always looking for new ones. Um, and yeah, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Um, and yeah, see you guys later.